Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm gonna do a bloom transfer spin. Um, I am working with some colors that I wanted to change up how I approach the base coat. Normally you see a lot of whites and blacks. Today I'm going to do a really bright, meh, not a bright, medium bright, dark uh, red. I'm using Amsterdam Carmine Red. So nice red base. It's, it gives me very Christmas vibes, really, the colors are. But um, yeah, I just wanted to change up the, the base coat and try something out different. So let's get down to the canvas. I'll tell you the colors and what I'm going to do, okay? I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So what I've got today is a little small canvas. I've got a little um, 16 by 20. Um, I'm doing, like I said, a bl bloom transfer using regular acrylic paint, not the house paint. Uh, my base color today, which I've never, eh, I think I've done one painting with a red base. So this here is the uh, Carmine White from Amsterdam. My paints are mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium, Paint, Floetrol, no water has been added to any of these paints. Um, everybody asks what my consistency, how I mix my paints. I will do an actual video or do a little tutorial of how I mix my paints before I do another paint video. Um, I didn't do it with this one, so. But I can tell you, so this here is a 24 ounce cup. So what I normally do in a 16 ounce cup is like two ounces of gloss medium, four ounces of paint, eight ounces of Floetrol. And then if I need to add a little more paint to thicken it up, I'll add more paint. If I need it a little thinner, I might add a little more Floetrol. Sometimes I'll add water, but none of these paints have any water in them. So that is the base paint. Um, I am going to be using a base white to do as my pillow paint. This is the Artist Loft Soft Body White. This here is a combination of Bordeaux Red from Arteza mixed with the Caput Mortem from Amsterdam. Got a nice plum color here, beautiful. This here is a aqua green that I used. Um, this is Pebio's greenish blue, iridescent green blue with a little bit of Liquitex of the aqua green. This here is Iridescent Gold from Pebio. And this here is Lagoon. Now, for Lagoon, since it is a TLP pigment, I put a little bit of rubbing alcohol in the bottom and then put about three scoops of Lagoon TLP in it, made it into like a little slurry. It was kind of not pasty, but not completely runny. Then I added about two ounces of gloss medium. Then I added about four ounces, I'd say three ounces, about three ounces of um, Floetrol. And then I needed to thicken it up just a smidge. So I added some of that blue green from Pebio Iridescent. It's a little combination, but it's really the color of that Lagoon. Gonna put down some base coat. All right, now that I've got my base paint down, now it's time to move on over to the colors. So I'm gonna start off with some of the white to use as the pillow. that deep plum color. That turquoise. Some of the white. A little bit of gold. Some more of the plum. Lagoon, 
and I think I'm gonna try out with some white select. Got some really cool lacing with that. Now I'm just gonna take my King Arthur bread knife, palette knife, whatever you wanna call it. And all I'm doing is scooping it up onto here, getting it all. I'm just gonna lay it out. Now I'm gonna take what's left, use this other scraper and get all of that. Do a little continuation. Okay, I think I want to do one more. I've got a lot of gold in that piece. So I think what I want to do is bring in this little bit more of the plum color. You do a touch of the gold. Touch of the plum.
There we go. That's got more of that blue. So now I can kind of streak this back through there and then we'll be done. I like the direction that the lines and stuff are going in. So what I'm gonna do is lay this probably right on through here. Love the ripples that's happening. So what I'm gonna do first, is first give this a little bit of a torch. What I wanna do is I'm gonna bring it this way a little bit. stretch out over that corner, lose a little bit of that and come on back. Let's give it a little spin. Go one more time. Definitely getting the little white cloud cells from the Artist Loft white. Kept the lacing from the cell activator, but man, is it clouding up. So cool, so, so cool. So this is not the typical cloud pour white, but I wanted to see how this was going to react with all these other colors on the transfer and it is really, really reacting. All right, I am going to clean up the edges and then I'm going to bring you down 
and show you up close. Okay guys, here we are with the wet results. So this cloudy white selled up like crazy. There's no satin enamels in this white. This is just the Artist Loft white. It's just crazy. Look at the detail and the colors. Let's see this one is dry. I'll be right back. All right, here we are. Beautiful coloring. I love this composition, how it just goes from corner to corner. Nice, bright carmine red for a uh, base coat. Just great. All right, everyone, that is it. So that is the piece. So it could go in multiple directions, but I love this Carmine Red. It dried great. The transfer of these colors is just amazing. You can go different compositions, whichever direction is your to your liking. But um, yeah, the direction that the lines are going, laying the colors on top of each other, created its own little dimensions. Um, because it looks like there's like a swipe here, a swipe there, through there, through there, through there. I like that a lot. Um, not a traditional cloud pour by any means, but look at what the Artist Loft soft body white is doing. It's given those cloudy white cells. Some people like that, some people don't. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but if you're doing like a Dutch pour, um, especially Dutch pours. Anytime you're using a hair dryer and you're blowing paints over it, this white will eat up your paint sometimes. It will create unnecessary cells. So I don't recommend using the Artist Law for like Dutch pours, but I love it in regular pours. Um, you don't have to use all the different mixes to kind of get a cloudy pour um, finish. So anyways. <laughs> All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in for this Wednesday's pour. Everyone have a great day. Also, on Friday, I'm going to release a video um, of me resining a uh, canvas and a tile. I've had a lot of people ask me about how I apply resin, so I'm gonna do a video. It will not be a premiere. It's just gonna be a release. It is probably gonna get released around two or three o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. So be on the lookout for that. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of the week and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.